I think sharks are really fascinating animals. They are a kind of uh, maximum in the evolution system. So they, they are almost perfect animals. And uh, in this respect, we can learn a lot from sharks. Shark skin is not smooth as one would expect, but it's very rough and this roughness uh, is uh, making them faster in the water. Why this roughness is uh, improving swimming? Uh, uh, there is a reason and the reason can be explained in mathematical terms. Okay, when we have a, a shark uh, in the water, in this region around the shark, there is another dynamics related to what we call the water viscosity. So the water viscosity is uh, responsible of resistance of the water to the swimming. This occurs like when you take a card and you throw these cards in this way. So the fluid, each card is a kind of layer of fluid, uh, slipping one over the other. And this is uh, uh, the action of viscosity. This action is uh, creating uh, some uh, vortexes on the surface of the shark. And uh, these vortexes are di dissipating energy. Now, if the surface is uh, uh, not flat but is rough, like we have on shark skin, the re this uh, uh, roughness is breaking uh, these vortexes is reducing the occurrence of these vortexes thanks to water trapped uh, in, in these valleys of the riblets. The roughness of a shark skin, the, the presence of these riblets, makes the shark faster. In the Olympic Games of 2004, a uh, couple of companies uh, uh, tried to reproduce this effect on the swimsuits uh, of Olympic swimmers. And I was working with the, one of those companies in Europe uh, and uh, we reproduce mathematically the effect uh, in order to quantify the real advantage and try to identify an optimal shape and an optimal sizing of these riblets. We found an advantage, a reduction of drag uh, around 14%. After uh, Olympic Games in 2008, uh, these wind suites were banned uh, because they are, this uh, kind of uh, technological help is supposed to be or is considered to be a technological doping. One of the most uh, important things of mathematics is that you can do experience in one field, like shark skins, and then use this experience in a completely different fields, like motorcycles or uh, blood dynamics. We can use really these tools to solve cardiovascular disease, to help doctors understand physiopathology, or to support their decision process, to help them to, to do the right thing, uh, uh, in, because they can try our solutions in a virtual world of mathematics before they do the real therapy or they do the real surgery. Mathematics is the common language of nature. So if you understand something, if you create something in one field, then you can take advantage of this experience in another field. So these are the equations underlying the mathematics of shark skin.